Hey everyone, it's me Dan here. I just thought of an idea to do this for this video because today is the 28th of September 2022 and 20 years ago today on the 28th of September 2002, it was on a Saturday by the way as I remember, I had my very first tattoo done on my arm right here. And I've had loads of tattoos done since, I've had one here, here, my arms on my, on my back, my legs, yeah. So yeah, so this is the very first tattoo I've done. I've done 20 years ago today. I'm gonna tell a little story about uh, this first tattoo I've had. Um, I'm gonna cut this long story short. On the 2nd of September 2002, which was on my 18th birthday, which is a photo of here by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 20 years ago. Um, just over, well, over, just over 20 years ago on my birthday, and this is my 38th birthday album, which is yeah, I've done nearly a month ago, so yeah, done a video on the main channel. Anyway, um, a week after my 18th birthday, I, I booked it in Birmingham, in Broad Street by the way, yes, done in Broad Street, Birmingham, ta tattoo parlour, and um, I didn't tell my mum about it, so I thought she'd go mad, but well, she did, but I'll get to that after. Um, and I was with my ex Claire at the time. Uh, so I was only with for not even a year at the time. And because the year before I was suffering de depression, I might have mentioned it before on my channel, about me uh, being depressed in 2001. And yeah, I got through it. If it weren't for Claire, I don't know where I'd be now. And you know, she's been magnificent. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get a tattoo done. And I told Claire about it, she knew about it. She said, oh, okay, do whatever you want, you're 18 now. Well, she's older than me, but at least two years. Um, and I thought, well, yeah, I'll get a tattoo done. And I didn't know what to have, so I went to, and I booked it. I went down, down there, it was burnt in Burnham, in London now, obviously, so everything's changed in the last 20 years, even the last couple of years. And so I, I booked lots of these tattoos, I thought, oh, I like this one. It was a snake handle with a sword going through the skin, as you can see there. So I could, so look, there you go. So yeah, um, I thought I liked that one. Originally I went to get like a Paris or something. I thought, nah, nah, I thought I'd get a snake instead. So I thought, yeah, I like, I like the look of that. So I booked it. And um, in that, and on the 20th of September it was booked. And I went down to Birmingham on the bus. So I was still living in Worcestershire. And I'm not going to say exactly where, because my mum still lives there. I'm going to do the old area. Um, I went down with some friends, well, school, old school friends, so it's a lot to call them that. Um, I went down, I was waiting in the, in the tattoo parlour and, and I was there having my tattoo done and I remember the, 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 the needle and like, you know, like, have tattoos done. Oh, it wasn't that bad, it was just like, I sort of feel like mainly vibration, you know, you know if you had tattoos done yourself. So yeah, I was lucky, I thought, oh, I like the colours. And then it did take long to, to be done, but it took about two hours or something, I don't know, something like that. The other tattoos didn't take very long, apart from the one on my legs, so they were took quite a lot longer. Um, but yeah, I was there and then wrapped it up. And I went on the, went to McDonald's afterwards, I, I think I remember that time, and I went to, I had a Big Mac. Yeah. Got straight back on the bus, went straight back home, which was me on going by the way, and I went through the door, and then mum went and said, well, have you injured your arm? I went, no. She said, what's that one around your bloody arm? Well, you got a bloody like a bandage around your arm. I said, oh, I had a tattoo done. She went, what? I was like, yeah, I've, I've had a tattoo done. I've had it booked ages ago. She said, why would you have a tattoo done? You'll have it for the rest of your life. And I went, well, I'm 18. I can do what I want. I can drink. I can do whatever I want now, I'm an adult. She said, oh right, that's it, right, you know, you go back upstairs and yeah, like So, I was a bloody arm, I mean, I mean, I mean, Claire didn't mind. Well, she didn't mind, doesn't mind. Any girl would go out with, but, you know, she's my nice years. But no, she's right now, obviously, I was going back 20 years. And she said, right, well, I hope you can live that now for the rest of your life, because you're going to have to get rid of that. Well, she can if you have long tattoo removal, so I don't know, laser surgery with a cool. So I was, I didn't really know much know about it, think about it at the time, I was just like, because I'm young, you know, I even had ears piercing, you know, my left, just my left ear, yeah, and I had one up here, but I didn't, I didn't wear that much. 
and I had Audrey Pearson as well, but that was when I was doing, I was about 19, so I remember that. But I never only wore them that much, I haven't worn them for at least 18 years now. I haven't them anymore, I haven't worn earrings for them, but I haven't worn earrings for ages. You used to have one of them like, them gold, you know, them gold earrings, they're like the grey ones, you know. Here's them studs there. So yeah, I don't wear them anymore, I haven't worn them anymore. Um, so yeah, she, she wasn't very happy about it. I was in my room for a couple of days during the weekend and I was doing a college course before that before I finished and then signed up to the job centre and then I found a job straight away after that working in the nursing home for a while I wanted to be a mechanic at first but I gave it up I liked to be a landscape gardener but now ever since I've always mainly done warehouse work and forklift truck driving and all that so I'm absolutely just fine and do a bit of every now and then but I mainly do YouTube videos for a bit of fun really, I don't care about making money off the for doing or make a load or whatever. I'd like to make videos for fun. So I thought well, all the fun videos I thought I wanted to tell a story about my first tattoo. And yeah, she went spare but she got used to it. Then about in four months later in January 2003, I went down to the local areas, tattoo parlour instead of going to Birmingham and always go there and done this tattoo here. This one here, and then this one, that one, and then I want to be back. It was all man in the same tattoo parlour. It's all man in the same area. So yeah, I only went to Birmingham once to have this tattoo done because I thought, well, because I went to Birmingham a lot, and that's where my ex lives. I'm not going to say which part of Birmingham. But yeah, I went there, Broad Street. If you know about Broad Street, Birmingham, go out there on the night out sometimes. I've been there for many years. I got to Soho, I went to London, Soho last week, Saturday. Nice night out. I told you about in the previous video. Um, but yeah, that's my first tattoo done 20 years ago today, 28th September 2002. Today's 28th September 2022 as I do this video. So yeah, it's quite good fun times when you're a teenager, young adult, but I feel like I'm really old now after having this tattoo done 20 years ago today. Right, I thought I'd tell a little story there, right? I'm going to leave it there because uh, I just uploaded a video earlier on the main channel about me reacting to five sounds from gaming consoles. If it's, if it's any of you watched it. But yeah, I'll be doing more videos very soon on this channel and on the gaming channel. Uh, if you did like the video, by the way, please leave a like if you wanted to tell other stories as well, which I'm glad to. Yeah, a lot better stories. Yeah. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do click on subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notified of all my uploads I bring up. All sorts of I bring up. You can tell stories like I did just now, or do vlogs like go around London, Westminster, um, anywhere. But to be honest, I even, I even visit my old place like once or twice a month, so I could do vlogs and that as well. Go and visit, you know, visit, see Ruby the Cat. Yeah, do all that. And do challenges as well, of course. Vlogs will do the challenges. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Dan. See you and have a good day at home.